Welcome back to Game Dev Academy. I'm Shane and I want to ask you a question. Do you hate waiting for long render times, especially if you're using the Arnold renderer? Well, if that's the case, then maybe, like me, you haven't been using the correct tool for the job. In today's video, which is sponsored by NVIDIA and Scan Computers, I'm going to be using an NVIDIA Studio laptop to see just how much the RTX 2080 can speed up my workflow by accelerating Arnold rendering. In order to put the NVIDIA Studio platform to the test, NVIDIA have lent me an Acer Concept D7 laptop, which is specced to meet the strict requirements of the NVIDIA Studio platform. I'll render a scene on both my PC and the Acer laptop to see just how using the right tool for the job can reduce render times compared to using, let's say, a less specialized tool. So let's start with using Arnold to render a relatively simple scene on my current PC setup. The important specifications for this are listed on screen. This scene is something I've put together for a new Maya 2020 tutorial that I've recently finished writing. Hit the thumbs up button if you want to see that tutorial sooner rather than later. So here's the scene and I'm going to render it with Arnold using the CPU. There are two ways that I'm going to measure the performance for this. The first, which is nice and straightforward, is the overall render time. The second though, is the one that will make the most difference to my personal workflow with Arnold. And that's the time it takes the IPR, or Interactive Photorealistic Rendering, to get to a stage that I can visualize changes I'm making with confidence. So we're starting with rendering the image to see how long it takes. And as you can see, on this PC, it takes quite a long time to complete the render. Next, we'll take a look at how long it takes for the IPR to reflect changes I've made to a level where the image isn't so noisy that I can't be confident in the results. So I'll just change the camera angle for this and see how long the Arnold IPR takes to give me an image of a reasonable quality. And as you can see, this also takes a long time. Too long, really. Now let's jump onto the Concept D7. Here you can see I have exactly the same scene, so let's see how long it takes to render on the i7-9750H CPU. As you can see from the render time here, this laptop is already doing much better than my crappy desktop. But there's more. One of the strengths of the NVIDIA Studio laptops is the accelerated ray tracing rendering which makes use of the RTX GPU. So let's render this again but this time using the RTX 2080 and see if we can get that render time down any further. As you can see, enabling rendering on the GPU is as easy as selecting the option in the Arnold render settings and the result we get is a further reduction in that render time. Also, take a look at just how quickly we now get to a good quality image using IPR. For me, the improvement I'm seeing in rendering performance is night and day. So already I'm completely sold on the performance gains offered by the NVIDIA Studio platform. But there is one more trick up the sleeve of this laptop to push the rendering performance even further. That's through the use of the AI denoiser which makes use of the tensor cores on the RTX 2080. Check this out. I'm now going to change the camera angle again and look at how quickly the GPU rendering combined with the Optics AI denoiser gets the image to a point where I can feel completely confident in any changes I've made to the lighting or materials or framing in a matter of seconds. When I first tried this out, it actually blew my mind a little bit. I mean, look at how fast this is compared to the trash that I have been working with. It's ridiculous, but in a good way. Next, let's take a look at this rather handsome looking chap. This scene was sent to me as a good way to demo the rendering benefits of using an RTX Studio laptop. So we'll start with rendering this on my PC and then work through the different configurations on the Concept D7 to see the rendering gains again. So whilst I'm demonstrating this for you, let's talk about what the NVIDIA Studio platform actually is. NVIDIA Studio is a technology platform for creatives that incorporates RTX GPUs as well as the NVIDIA Studio stack of specialized SDKs and dedicated NVIDIA Studio drivers to deliver the ultimate performance and reliability demanded by online and studio-based digital creatives working against tight deadlines to deliver high quality content. RTX Studio is a badge that's tied to specific laptop and desktop products that meet a set of carefully selected hardware and software specifications. 
the hardware and software components are subjected to thorough lab-based performance and compatibility testing against top creative applications and workflows. By choosing GeForce RTX Studio or Quadro RTX Studio branded products, creators will easily be able to identify laptops and desktops with the best out-of-box creative experience. As you've seen, Studio accelerates the ray tracing renderer Arnold by utilizing the RTX GPUs. By combining fast RTX accelerated rendering with support for GPU accelerated AID noising, this means CG artists can work interactively with their models and scenes, quickly iterating through changes in materials, lighting, camera position and environments. Artists can view the effects of their changes with lightning fast updates in the Arnold render view output window. So I think this demonstrates the benefits of using the right tools for the job. And when it comes to rendering, these Nvidia Studio laptops are clearly the right tools for the job. I focused on using the Arnold renderer for this video, but there are also some other really cool benefits for me offered by this platform, both of which I used when making this video. The first one was the use of the new NVENC encoder in OBS, which I used to capture the video from the Concept D7 laptop, and also the hugely improved performance in Premiere Pro, which I used to edit my videos. Another huge benefit is the fact that all of this power has been packed into a laptop and one that is much thinner and lighter and way more powerful than my own current laptop. So, do I recommend this laptop and the Nvidia Studio laptops in general? Well, yes I do. I think the performance speaks for itself and working on the laptop whilst making this video has completely ruined the way I feel about my own PC. I mean, how can I go back to using my PC now that I've seen the light? The answer is, I can't, hence the glowing box behind me. If you want to check out the Studio laptops for yourself, I'll leave a link to this specific laptop as well as some other NVIDIA Studio laptops offered by Scan Computers in the description below. And if you're a creative professional, you really should check these out, especially if you're looking for a mobile solution. So I hope you found this video useful, especially if you're looking for an upgrade, and I'd like to thank NVIDIA and Scan Computers for sending me a laptop to play with. And finally, I'd like to thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next video.